What's up, everybody? This is John from Coding Attic, and welcome to React Router 6 tutorial video. Now, if you're not familiar with React Router, it's an awesome library that makes building single page applications with React a breeze. So, unlike the traditional multi page applications, where we run back to the server every time we navigate to the page, with single page applications, we load all of our HTML and JavaScript in one page, more specifically in one div, and handle the rest of the logic with the help of JavaScript. And as a result, our projects get that snappy app like feel. Now, since React does not have built in routing solutions, that's why we reach for extra library. And by far the most popular option out there is React Router. And version 6 is just the latest and greatest option with a bunch of cool new features and custom hooks. So if we take a look at the typical multi-page application, we'll notice that every time we navigate to a page, we trigger full page refresh. Because browser needs to run back to the server, get the contents, and then display them. Unlike the React application, where changes happen instantly. Notice we get this snappy response. And the reason for that is because we have single page application. So like I said, we have single page, more specifically, we have single div with an ID of root. And then all the changes get handled by JavaScript. And therefore the contents of the page load instantly without the full page refresh. In order to follow along, you'll need a star and it's located in this repo. So look for my GitHub and then more specifically repo by the name of React Router 6 tutorial. So then I'm going to go for download option. After that, I'm going to navigate to my downloads, crack it open, drag and drop. So now it's sitting on the desktop. Then I think I'll rename it. I'm just going to go with React Router. After that, I want to open up Visual Studio Code, drag and drop, set right away, side by side with the browser. And then we want to open up the integrated terminal. And we want to go with npm install and right away npm start. And essentially, this is a boilerplate React application. Effectively, I created with create react app. And in here, you'll just find some useful resources. So we don't have to type out some boilerplate code. So in the source, there's a final folder, where you'll find complete application. So if you ever need to reference the code that I type in the videos, you can find it over there. We also have a pages folder. And you'll see in the following videos, why we have it there. Effectively, it's just bunch of react components. And again, we'll talk about them in a few videos. After that, we have app.js, where we just have a heading two with this text data.js also something that we'll implement a little bit later in the CSS with all of the styling. Now there's not much to it. But still, I added a little bit of styling here. And of course, index.js. And also in the root, you'll find readme where I wrote down all the steps we're going to take throughout this project. And if you see in the browser react router six tutorial, then we're in good shape. And we can start exploring react router six. Okay, and before we start typing away, let me just mention a few things. First, if you ever want to run the complete application, so not just reference the code in the final one, but if you actually want to see some feature in action, just go to index.js and swap the app.js files. So essentially, you want to get the app.js from the final folder. So like I said, final folder is where you'll find complete application. And in here, there's also a app.js. So just go to index.js, get the app.js from the final folder. And I already added the code, you just need to comment the first one out. 
and uncomment the last one. Then if you ever need a reference to official documentation, I left it in the readme a link. So if you click on this link, you'll navigate to the official docs of React Router 6. And when it comes to install for your own projects, the command you're looking for is npm install react router dom at six. Now, of course, I already installed this package in this project. But just so you don't think that there's some funny business going on, let me open up here the terminal, I'll clear everything, I'll run the command. And once the install is complete in a package JSON, we'll see react router dom package. And as far as the setup, here's what we want to do. We want to go to app JS and you know what, let me start this one up. So npm start. And we want to import three things. We want to get the browser router, which is going to connect to the actual browser, the routes component, which is going to be a parent for all our routes, and then route component, which we'll use to set up a single page. So let's go there. Let's start setting up the code and then I'll talk about the props and the rest of the stuff. So let me first navigate to app.js. Like I said, we want to grab three components. Now eventually we'll also get a link and some other ones as well. But for now, these are the ones that we want. So browser, router, routes, and a route. And as a quick side note, if you want, you can add browser router in the index.js, basically where you wrap the whole application. But in my case, I'll settle for app.js. Then we want to go with react and then router down. And like I said, first, we want to connect to the actual browser. So we'll go with browser router, then we'll set up the routes component. So let's go here with routes, and then we need to set up those single routes. And basically, the idea is following where we go with route, then we need to go with path. So this is going to reflect whatever we have in the URL. And when it comes to the home page, we have special syntax where we go with forward slash. Now in this local setup, that forward slash means localhost 3000. In production, that is going to be whatever is your domain, whether that is udemy.com or youtube.com or johnsmilk.com. And hopefully you see where I'm going with this. So this is special, this forward slash. But basically, where we have the path, we'll set up whatever URL is going to be here in the URL bar. So for example, if I want to have a page by the name of testing, then instead of forward slash, I'll type path equals to testing. And if I want to set up a nested one, let's say I want to go with products and then forward slash info, then yes, you guessed it. One of the ways how we can set it up is going with products here, and then forward slash testing. And if you're a little bit iffy on that, don't worry, as we cover more examples, it's going to be easier to understand that. So first, let's go with path forward slash again, that means our homepage. And then we want to go with element. And at the very basic level, we can just pass in the code directly here in the element. And in the upcoming videos, we'll see how we can use components for that. But at the very basic level, we just need to set up here what we want to see on the screen. So in my case, I'm going to go with simple div here. And I'll say homepage, like so. So let me close out the route component. And once we save, we should see homepage and we do. So that is my homepage. And like I said, now let's set up some dummy page, and I'll call this testing. So instead of forward slash, which is a syntax for the homepage, I simply go here with testing. Now if I'm going to write about, then of course, in the URL, I'll have to type forward slash about. Now if I have testing, then you guessed it, I'll go with forward slash and testing. And what I want to display here, well, let's make this one a little bit more complex just to showcase that of course, we can set up whatever logic we want over here. So I'm going to go with div. And then inside of it, I'm going to go with heading two, and then the testing. one. Let's save it. And eventually, of course, there's going to be a nav bar and all of that cool stuff. 
But for now, yes, we'll have to do all of the navigation in the URL bar. So let me navigate there. And what is the page name? Well, it is testing, correct? So we go with forward slash, and then testing. Once we navigate there, check it out. Now we have our page. And if you want to go back to the home page, you guessed it, we just need to go back to the local host 3000. So again, we install the package, we grab three components, browser router, routes, and route, browser router connect to the browser, routes is going to be a parent for all our routes. And then for every page, we'll set up a route component with two props, a path. So what is going to be the URL, and then what we want to render, we pass into the element.